Hi there guys, so I've got a R9 M module, this one's actually blown so it doesn't take power from the internal uh, or the external. Um, what I did find, just to make this short and sweet, is you can, instead of plugging it in here, turns on for a bit and then turns off, you can actually power it from the S port, just like that, and that'll actually then work all the way up to the flex 1 watt. Um, if you needed a two, I have tested that. Um, other thing you can do, I did buy a new one because I didn't think it was going to work, is the step down to five volts. So you can take your 3S LiPo, plug it in, and it will actually, if I can actually get this on here, it'll actually step it down to five volts. Very handy to have and actually to use. Um, so you don't blow these type of things and then you've got obviously extended battery life. So that's that. Let's get out of there. I have uh, two Cadex V2 turtles, uh, both yellow screen, both firmware, so I did try to flash it to get the lines to go. Firmware didn't work and they're both yellow screen now. So if anyone does know how to fix these, this one I haven't even used, um, that would be a great help. Let me know. We can try and sort out an arrangement. All right. If you have any questions or if you want me to look into stuff for you, let me know. Um, obviously any questions about r and m any suggestions about the Cadex Turtle, let me know Com down below um, and we can sort stuff out. I probably don't won't do this very often, these type of videos, but thought I'd give it a go, got a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, cheers, thank you very much.